click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the food preservation and now in this topic I am going to talk about artificial sweeteners. So therefore this is the another food additive that is what I am going to talk about. So what is the definition of it and what are the different examples related to artificial sweetener? This is what I am going to talk about in this topic. So friends, now let us understand the definition of artificial sweetener. That is, certain chemicals which do not occur in nature but are synthesized in laboratory, having a sweet taste but have no food value, no food value in the sense, no calorific value, are basically known as artificial sweeteners. And the examples are saccharine and aspartame. So based on that, we have the structure related to saccharine and aspartame. So those structures are, that is, this is the structural formula for saccharine and this is what we can observe here, that is, it consists of a benzene ring, which is attached to C double bond O and this is thionyl group that is S double bond O and again S double bond O which is attached to NH. So therefore this is the structural formula for saccharine and talking about saccharine, saccharine is in fact 550 times more sweeter compared to that of that is cane sugar that is obtained naturally. So this is the structural formula for saccharine and now let me talk about the another artificial sweetener. So talking about aspartame, so even this is an artificial sweetener and talking about the structure of it, so therefore it consists of a carboxylic group over here, you can see over here as that is CH NH2 group, so this is C double bond O NH that is an amide group and this is CH CH2, this is C6H5 that is a phenyl group that has been associated to this methylene group, so therefore this is C double bond O OCHC, so therefore it consists of an ester group also. So the functional groups are not only carboxylic acid, it is also amide and also have that is an ester group along with that of that is phenyl so therefore this is nothing but aspartame and talking about aspartame aspartame is actually 100 times more sweeter compared to that of a cane sugar so talking about the other artificial sweetener so talking about the another artificial sweetener we have that is elitane so therefore this is a structure this is very much similar to that of the previous one that is what we have discussed about that it consists of a carboxylic group that is c double bond o oh group ch2 ch nh2 c double bond o nh that is the same that is peptide or we could also call it as that is amide group and this is ch ch3 c double bond o nh while this is the portion which is comparatively different from that of that is aspartame so here basically this is a group that is so therefore this is the group that has been associated to this nitrogen atom over here and this is the structure of elitame and talking about elitame elitame is actually 2000 times more sweeter compared to that of that is a cane sugar and that's the reason it is very much sweet in nature and obviously it is very much stable also at high temperature so that's the reason we try to avoid this kind of elitame and this kind of all artificial sweeteners are basically used for those sweets which can be consumed by the diabetic patients because even though we can consume a normal sugar sweet but the thing is it can increase the calorific value so nowadays we are using that is artificial sweetener because they don't have a calorific value and that's the reason that they don't get digest also in our body and it's a very simple thing that is it gives us a taste to the food and that is how it is widely used in the food industries so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much